In September, arts organizations across Harford County are partnering to create a spectacular week of events to enjoy and celebrate all forms of the arts. Joining me to tell us about the first ever Harford County Arts Week are Matthew Scales, Executive Director of Visit Harford, and Suzanne Zantop, Cultural Events Coordinator for Maryland Center for the Arts. Welcome to you both. I feel like it's a breaking story. It is. It's exciting. It is. Very yeah, exciting. The first ever. Exciting. So. What inspired, I mean, I've always thought Harford County has a lot going on, but what inspired this idea of dedicating an entire week to the arts? Well, I had a meeting with um, Angela Robertson of the Town of Bel Air's Cultural Arts Commission and with uh, Rebecca Jessup of the Haverty Grace oh, Arts sure. Collective. And together with our executive director, Bob Willenbrink, we were talking about all of the events that we had in common during the same period of time, including one of our biggest ones, the Plein Air Festival. And we decided that we needed to showcase everything that happens in Harford County and all of the wonderful groups that have been here for years and years plus all of the new ones that are coming on um, because the public's clamoring for it right okay and so obviously you're, you're, you are a, a woman with lots of energy but it's a small organization so perhaps you need to have a partner in all of this because yes. there's a lot going on and so I guess Matthew that's where um, you came into the that's picture. where we stepped in yeah so they all came to my office and presented the idea and met with me um, I want to say it was a few months ago mm -hmm. and I loved it um, Harford County has a lot of great arts up here. We have two state designated arts and entertainment districts, mm -hmm. one in Bel Air and one in Habitat Grace. Um, there's a lot of great public art around the county. We also have a Harford County Arts and Mural Trail, yeah. as well as our Barn Quill Trail. So we already have those experiences here. And so anything else we could do to support the arts community, we're on board with. Okay, so that's going to be part of Arts Week. But then, of yes. course, there's a lot of special events going on. Mm -hmm. I, I have to ask you, were you surprised by when you started, you know, contacting all these different arts organizations and, you know, uh, visual arts, we're talking about music, dance, all of that, that you thought, oh my gosh, we have so much going on here, maybe more than I you know, even realized. Yeah, well, I've worked in the arts in Harford County since 1979, and I knew who a lot of the groups were. I knew the one big frustration for everyone is marketing their events. Right. So I knew that they would be on board with something that would bring recognition to them and their work. Right. And that's what we, the real impetus for this Arts Week was. Yeah. So that, and then going forward from here, that we will have familiarity with groups. And the groups are also in your backyard. I mean, they're all over Harford County yeah. from the northwestern part down to um, Aberdeen. So we've got everything for people that they'd be looking for. And the people have responded, the arts groups, once they understood what it was about, they were very receptive and the, um, the website's filling up, I think. Yeah, I think we're all, all oh, over so ex 20. Explain how that works. You say the website. So Matthew, so <coughs> how did it work to, to get in touch with all these arts organizations and get them on board? So it was really, do you want to take that well, one? Well, we, okay. we started out just by reaching out to the people that we knew mm -hmm. because we all know different people more intimately and we contacted Jessica Cleaver at Harford Cultural Arts Board and mm -hmm. asked her to put it in her newsletter so that we would have a uh, official looking uh, invitation for right. people and that's where it came from is just encouraging people over and over and over again to go to the website giving them a link and they can upload their own information so they really feel that they have ownership of what they're doing. So yeah going to the Visit Harford website when you go to submit your event and you want to make sure you check the box that it goes to the Harford County oh. Arts Week web page, similar model to our Harford County Restaurant Week, right? Where right. you have all the restaurants that are participating as part of Harford County Restaurant Week, same model. So, you know, I think it made sense. So it's, it you have your pretty, menu of, of arts <laughs> events, right? <laughs> it's pretty darn easy then. I mean, that's fantastic. Well, there are the dates, September 10th to the 18th, and they're gonna be events, as you were saying, Suzanne, even in your backyard, I mean, all over the place, not just Harvey Grace and right. Bel Air, though there's gonna be a lot going on there. So let's talk a little bit, I, I said there's gonna be visual art. Let's talk about some of those specific Well, we events. know that on Tuesday at um, Ledoux Gardens in the morning, where some of our plein air painters will be painting there so that the public can come and watch them paint. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that um, on uh, Sunday in Haverty Grace, there are, um, there's the Waterfront. Um, Waterfront Festival. Yeah, there's oh, also awesome. a performance of Rent at the State right. Theater in wow. Habit of Grace. So you have a mix of visual arts and performing arts. It's, 
we have all forms of arts in, right. in Hartford County. You really do. And some of the festivals, as you said, like the Waterfront Festival happens to be this all coordinated at the same time. Correct? Correct. Am I right about yes, that? Yes, and they, they were going, they were already scheduled, some of them. And that's really what made us do this, is say, mm -hmm. we have all these events, why don't we publicize them as one, e one uh, umbrella event to showcase yeah, it really the makes, county's arts. It makes a lot of sense. Now, I know that you're going to get a lot of wonderful attendance from people locally here in Hartford County, but as tourism person, are you hoping, too, that this will attract people from outside the county? For sure, yeah. So we're putting some of our marketing funds towards, you know, the Philadelphia, Harrisburg area. That's where, ah. you know, we bring down, you yeah. know, that's a very affluent market and people love arts up there as well. So using the appropriate outlets and channels to really get folks down here and spend, you know, spend the week, hopefully, mm -hmm. yeah. or at least a long weekend or to enjoy as many of the events as possible. Well, it's, it's such an uplifting event week for, for the arts and for one's spirit. And, you know, times are tough right now for a lot of people. But also, what is the economic impact of the arts? People often don't talk about that as much, that it can be a real um, driver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It can have a great economic impact for the county. I don't have the specific numbers, but I right. know, you know, when people are coming here and they're staying the night, they're eating in our restaurants. Uh, they're going to the galleries and they're buying pub, um, art, public art, mm -hmm. and um, going to the state theater and seeing performances. All of those really contribute to our local economy, which helps the residents of Harford County as well because it helps lower your um, uh, property tax. <laughs> oh, so. yeah. this is a good thing. So <laughs> we've been showing some pictures. There's, you know, art galleries are going to be open. Um, the whole week kind of culminates then with the Bel Air Arts Festival. Is that right? That's kind of the final. Um, uh, yes. couple days, so yes. um, uh, lots to do. Now, if people want to find out about the list, which I guess it, it's changing, or, or things are being added mm -hmm. all the time, right? Exactly, what you said, yeah. Um, they can go online and do that? Yep, go to visitharford.com, and under things to do, you'll see a drop down, arts and cultural, and you'll see a subhead, Harford County Arts, we click that, and that full menu will appear, and it, it, it's, I think, what, over 20 events now? Oh, at least. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yes. So in the little time we have left, what's been the response from the arts organizations about this? Because this is new. Well, for some of the arts organizations, it's the beginning of their program year. So they don't have anything really to, um, to oh. present to the public, but they started thinking creatively. And for instance, the Deer Creek Corral is opening uh, one of their rehearsals on Tuesday night up in um, Madonna. Okay. And they, anybody oh. who wants to come and see what, what is it like to, uh, to sing in a choral group, and uh, we, we look forward to having them join us. That's terrific. Well, I my hat off to both of you. I think this is such a great idea, and uh, I'm excited. I'm going to go online. I'm going to start checking the events that I want to attend. But it's a great time of year to enjoy all that Hartford County has to offer, particularly in the arts. So thank you both for all that you're doing with this. Thank you. Thank you. We're brushing with excitement. <laughs> okay. <laughs>